This presentation is designed to provide the viewer with information regarding Rego products. Rego has prepared this module to inform the installer or system designer on certain containers or applications where our products are utilized. For more technical problems and theories, there are many texts and manuals concerning the subject that should be consulted. The information supplied in this module is not intended to conflict with federal, state, or local ordinances or regulations. These should be observed at all times. This information is also not intended to be a substitute for or to supplement any training in the safe handling and the use of compressed or cryogenic gases and related equipment as required by any applicable law. By providing this material, RIGO or OPW assumes no responsibility for providing any such training. Only individuals properly trained in the safe handling and the use of industrial gases and related equipment should be permitted to do so. Let's review the process for disassembly, inspection, reassembly, and testing for valves. The first process applies for the liquid use valve, the gas use valve, the pressure building valve, and the vent valve. Disassembly. Open the valve by turning the hand wheel counterclockwise to the fully open position and evacuate any trapped gas from the system. The liquid cylinder shall have no internal pressure. Using a large adjustable wrench to hold and support the valve body, remove the bonnet assembly by turning counterclockwise with a 13 16 inch wrench, 15 16 inch wrench on older valves. The wrench must be capable of supporting at least 1,100 inch-pounds of torque. Remove the top works from the valve. Remove the copper gasket on the older valve, then separate the seat poppet and bushing. Inspection. Inspect the valve body and clean it if necessary. Check to ensure that the interior and the seal areas are free from dirt, residue, and foreign particles. Caution. Do not scratch or mar the internal surfaces. Discard all components that are removed from the valve. Reassembly. Be sure to use Repair Kit T9464-80. Note, the Repair Kit is available with different hand wheel colors. Add the letter B to the end of the part number for the blue hand wheel or G for the green colored hand wheel. The instruction sheet contains the information needed to perform proper maintenance of the shutoff valves. Remove the copper gasket from the wire tie on the new bonnet assembly. Position the new copper gasket in the valve body on the shoulder located below the threads. Holding the bonnet in one hand, turn the hand wheel counterclockwise to ensure that the seat poppet is in the fully opened or back-seated position. Thread the new bonnet assembly into the valve body until hand tight. While supporting the valve body with an appropriately sized adjustable wrench, tighten the bonnet into the valve body using a 13 16 wrench to 900 to 1100 inch pounds or 75 to 92 foot pounds. Note, do not remove the hand wheel. A 13 16 crow foot wrench can be used in conjunction with a torque wrench and socket extension to tighten the bonnet assembly to the proper torque. Cycle the valve several times from the fully opened or back-seated position to fully closed position to ensure smooth operation. And now for the pressure relief valve. First is disassembly. The liquid cylinder must be empty and without pressure. Inspect the threads of the PRV and the cross installed on the liquid cylinder. Clean the threads of the cross of the liquid cylinder, removing all residual Teflon or sealant. Connect a nitrogen line from a cylinder or any other source. Use a calibrated pressure gauge and vent valve. Set the line regulator at the setting of the PRV. Install the PRV in the line, open the valve that supplies nitrogen to the line, and verify the pressure where the valve starts to open. The PRV must start to open at 95% of the pressure setting. For example, if the setting is 100 PSIG, the valve will start to open at 95 PSIG. If the valve setting is 500 PSIG, the valve will start to open at 475 PSIG. Once you have verified the start to open point, increase the pressure to the pressure setting indicated on the valve and verify that the valve is fully open. Close the valve that supplies nitrogen to the line and verify that the PRV closes fully. Repeat the previous steps and verify the start to open pressure and the fully open pressure. 
It is recommended that you repeat this process five times. If the PRV does not meet the parameters indicated, it is recommended that you replace the PRV. Retire the PRV of the test bank and clean the thread. Reassembly. Apply Teflon or other sealant compatible with oxygen use to the PRV's threads. Be sure that the cross on the liquid cylinder is clean. Install the PRV using a torque wrench to 18 to 22 foot-pounds or 25 to 30 newton meters. Connect the hose to refill the liquid cylinder. For the pressure test, you will connect the hose to refill the liquid cylinder. Pressurize to 100 PSIG with the gas in use of the liquid cylinder. Apply leak detector soap and look for any bubbles indicating a leak. If you find any leaks, identify the location, depressurize the liquid cylinder, and perform whatever leakage correction is needed, and then repeat the test again.